Cerise, what's the idea? So there's the Wes Anderson trend where people are just doing stuff in the style of Wes Anderson, so I thought we could do that. I don't know, it sounds a bit, uh, a bit shit. Why are we filming this? Just... Why are we doing this? got a show to do. Are you wearing a Johnny? <laughs> Morning. Uh, just got up. Uh, I'm in uh, Castle when you know when I'm I'm in Newcastle and uh, we did two absolutely insane gigs yesterday. They were very drunk, very heckly. That we talk about Greg's and nipples, and it was really strange, but I loved it. Um, and we got two more today. So I'm gonna have a breakfast, I'm gonna have a shower, and then I'm gonna have a breakfast. I'm not gonna have a breakfast, then a shower. Who does that? You'd have to eat your breakfast in a really dirty way, um, which I don't quite gentle, anyways. Uh, see you later. I've just done in breakfast before the matinee. I've gone for the full English. Kumar's gone for a Benedict. Full veggie from Verdi. My perfect breakfast would be avocado on gluten-free toast with some spinach and a sausage for my dog. My dog loves sausages and I like to give my dog the sausage <laughs> cut. <laughs> going for a little wonder. You've got to do a bit of training because I've got a, uh, a charity football game coming up um, for the Kyan Prince Foundation Saturday the 20th and Birdie wants to um, be a fit dad for his children. Yeah. Yeah. Birdie got up this morning went for a lovely run didn't you first thing? Just so I could talk about it all day. Oh, we were discussing what do you do when you see other runners like do you nod or do you lift your head? Yeah. You're a nodder aren't you? Just a little nod, and then uh, if they don't nod, you don't feel embarrassed, you can disguise it like you're doing a Paula Radcliffe. Well, Just talking of Paula Radcliffe, here's what's really interesting about this walk. We've been walking around Newcastle for about 20 minutes, and Andrew needs a wee. Yeah, yeah, we need to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> if anything's going to go viral, it's Russell Howard and his brilliant support act, Andrew Bird and him pissing himself in the street. <laughs> Come I'm, on. Do, I'm prepared to do, do that. It, do, do it for the hits. Prepared to do that for the hits. Have you ever pissed yourself in public? What? Um, I remember when I was in year five in primary school, we myself, and then not having the guts to um, admit it to my mum, going to school the next day with the trousers that were dry, just spraying my dad's aftershave all over me, hoping no one would smell it. Ooh. Last time I did it, I was 35 and I was running home to where I used to live in London and I was so desperate for a piss, you know, I'm definitely going to make it, definitely get... and then suddenly my body went, you're not. 35. I just pissed myself, like all the way down, like, and it was this <laughs> brutal, I was on a back street in Maid of L, luckily, and I just got in and like, but proper. I was year five in primary school. Yeah, I know, I know. 35? 35. 35 years old, pissed myself. Was there in a the... moment where you just and, like... the, and I'm not even drunk, this was just during the day, it was like about three o'clock, <laughs> it was awful, man. <laughs> A lot of people want to know what we do before the matinee and we mostly watch football and we order the delivery and I've got to sign these posters. It's all pretty standard and normal stuff. Fuck me, my pen's run out! Jesus Christ. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Russell Howard!
So we're officially halfway through the tour. We've just done our 50th gig in Newcastle and a lady is about to give birth because of the, well not because of the gig, but I think we were the last thing that just pushed the kid just out of her vagina. Yes, yes, it was crowning. It was crowning. Their husband's done a lot of the work, she's done a lot of the work, but right at the end, I just managed to just winkle it out. <laughs> so hopefully she's gonna name her kid after Kuma. I, I said I didn't mind. So she could either call it Kuma, Russell Howard, or the Newcastle Town Hall. <laughs> City Hall. City Hall. We've had weird heckles. It's been bonkers. It's yeah. been mad, hasn't it? Like, yeah. It's, it's been the most bonkers of the whole tour so far, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt. They've asked me to get my nipples out. Uh, there was a woman yesterday who I reckon said Greg's, screamed Greg's probably 50 times. There was a bloke telling me that Elvis could get fucked. Yeah. Like straight away, I walked yeah. on stage, but we're fuck Elvis. So, yeah. had to chat about that. It's absolutely fabulous. Jesus, that's a good strong one, Kay. So this is the post-gig glamour. That's Apparently, Kings of Leon do exactly the same thing. As soon as they're off stage, they get a boot steam inhaler. Four gigs in Newcastle, without doubt, the weirdest bunch we've had. And I say that as a man who's doing a steam inhaler in a four by four. <laughs> but again, some of the heckles, man. Jesus Christ, so weird. It was lots of stuff about just there was a really odd thing about Cambridge and again weird stuff about nipples I don't know what it is but it's fun but there you go so that's it that's the end of Newcastle I'm celebrating with a Heineken alcohol-free beer um, I'm off to bed I'm gonna have an alcohol-free beer in a big bath with lavender take care oh my god nothing Thank you.